Hey guys, Wells Knight here, bringing you another brand new episode of Design Tech. And in today's episode, we are returning to the castle project. Uh, I decided that for the towers, uh, the best way, the best course would be to take a upside down stair, a carpenter stair in this case, and apply the texture to it. And that gives us a, just a tiny bit of depth right there. And that makes a huge difference, especially from down below where you can really kind of see those shadows work their way in. So that's what I did there, and I kind of like it. I think it turned out pretty well. Um, now this is kind of a smallish castle, but that's fine. That's fine. It's, it's our first real project since we've started, so that's okay. It's not a big deal to have something that's a little bit smaller to get started with. So let's go ahead and make... Oh, that's right. This isn't 1.8. I forget. Uh, let's grab some spruce fences. Um, uh, let's see. I thought we had them. Oh, here we go. Uh, nether brick. This is all just... I don't know if spruce is in here. Really? You add all the fences, but not the, not the vanilla ones? Uh, okay. Well, that's fine. Uh, let's look for a... I think it's called the Carpenter's Barrier? Yeah, there we go. Okay, so sticks and Carpenter's Blocks. That's very doable. Let's just make a bunch of those. And that will do the trick just fine. And we'll just put those right in here. Oh. Oh, come on now. There we go. And we'll get rid of those three. And then I'm going to need my carpenter's hammer. There we go. And if you just right click. Oh, wait a minute. Is it shift right click? No. Um, ah, left click. There we go. If we do that. That gives us this, ni this nice kind of gate-like texture, which I think works pretty well. If we do something like that, that looks very, very gate-like, I think. And then we can go ahead and just apply... Hmm, do we want to use that? Maybe it would be better if we found a different spruce texture. Uh, let's see how this one looks. I think that one might actually look... Pretty good. Ooh. Fancy. Um, how's that look from a distance? It's not terrible. Although I think we can do better. So let's get those off and let's look for a different texture. Maybe... Hmm, maybe this one. How would that look applied to the fence? Yeah, there we go. I like that much better. Okay, so we'll go with that. And that's kind of our little gate entrance way type thing. The next thing that I want to do is I would like to get a different um, floor? Ground? A different thing put in here. That is going to involve me tearing up basically this entire floor. Uh, and that is going to take a little while, guys, so let me get that done, and I will be back in just a little bit. All right, guys, I am back, and the next step is we want to get a floor in here, some sort of ground texture. And I think I was playing around with a few different designs, and I think I'm actually going to use the vanilla stone bricks texture. Uh, and the reason that I'm doing that is because it has a lot of little variations which, uh, within the chisel mod and just in general, which will make it really easy for me to mix in other textures once we get to that point. So I think that's probably going to be the way to go. Now, let's go ahead and make use of our super awesome builder's wand, because who doesn't love this thing? And we'll just drag that over. Man, this thing makes things so much faster. Look at that thing go. Whoo! Love it. All right. 
Um, there we go. That's looking pretty good. Looking good. Okay, we do need some more stone bricks. Uh, here we go. Let's just grab a bunch. And we'll just chisel a whole bunch of these. I think maybe... Uh, I think six stacks should be enough. I think, right? Yeah. I think six will be enough. There we go. Let's get that going. And then we'll fill that little bit in there. And can we do... Not quite, but we can do most of it. Uh, let's see. And I have to say, there's this annoying little glitch. Where sometimes chests just stay open for no apparent reason. It's kind of goofy, but... It is what it is. All right, so we've got that in there. Now, that is looking very gray, I know. Don't worry, we're going to fix that, and we're going to work on that a little bit right now. So, let's make some mossy stone bricks, maybe three stacks. Let's also make some cracked stone bricks as well. There we go. And then I'm going to take those out of my inventory. Grab my pickaxe. And actually, it's getting late. Let's take a nap. Let's take a nap real quick. There we go. And now, we'll put the pickaxe here. We'll put the mossy here. And we'll put normal stone bricks in here as well. And what we're going to do is we're just going to kind of randomize some some other additional textures just kind of make it as random as we can um there's no real design or uh, method to my madness here it's it's just basically as random as i can make it that's kind of my overarching goal here and we're just going to mix in a variety of different textures as best we can. Um, nope, not there. Let's go here. And basically when you're doing something like this, you want to avoid placing too many of the same texture in a line. So like, for example, um, you can see how there's no real clear lines here. They're just kind of wherever I see fit. You know, you don't have... For example, you wouldn't want to do something like this and make all of those one texture. That wouldn't look very good. However, we can kind of spread it out, and as long as they're not all lined up, it'll end up looking pretty good once it's all done. I think we need one right about there, maybe. How's that look? Yeah, that looks pretty good. Okay, so now what we're going to do is we're just going to mix in some mossy cobble in all those holes that we just put in. Like so. That'll help get us a little bit of color in here, which is very much needed. There we go. And then we're going to do basically the same thing, but this time we're going to do it with cracked stone bricks. So once again, just kind of make it random. See what you can do. And honestly, once you learn how to kind of uh, make randomized textures in Minecraft, your building ability, that alone, will make you a much better builder. It's just kind of one of those skills that you just kind of need to learn how to pick up. And once you do, man, it makes things... It really allows you to add some fine details and uh, all sorts of good stuff to your build. So that's one thing that I would highly encourage you to practice if it's not something you've ever really done. We're just going to kind of mix this in as best we can. 
Uh, maybe we'll put another one there. A little bit here, a little bit there. And it's okay to have some that are a little bit closer together. Uh, that looks pretty good. So now we'll take these cracked stone bricks. And we'll fill in all the holes with that. And I think we need a mossy right about there. And then once you've got the majority of it done, then you can go in and fine-tune little individual areas. Which is what we'll do in just a moment here. Now, we are going to have stuff in the castle. We'll probably have maybe a blacksmith. There'll be probably, I'm thinking like a large kind of tower keep. Like right in here. But you can see this floor is now significantly better than it was when it was just plain old normal stone bricks. And that was our goal. That's what we set out to do. So let's go ahead and put all of this stuff back. Uh, not the plain old smooth stone though. That can go elsewhere. We'll just do that. Those can go in there just to help us stay organized. Yeah, it's coming along. So now the, the last thing that I want to do in this episode is I want to put some windows in a few of these towers. So I'm thinking we'll put a window at that level. Like this. And like that. And here and there and we gotta fly all the way over here there we go there as well these walls definitely need a little bit of decorating in detail too they're not really doing it for me right now but that's okay that's that's the detail phase we'll get there Okay, so we've got now room for a few windows, and what we could maybe do is put in, let's see, let's leave maybe a gap of three, and then put in another one, like right about here or so. But I don't think we're going to do that on all the towers, because I don't think all the towers will have room for it. I think some of them might be a little bit too... Well, maybe we will. We might be able to fit them all. Let's see. Yeah, actually, I think it will be fine having a window right there on all the towers. So basically, we're just making two levels of windows. There we go. That looks good. And that one should be done. Okay, good. Now we need to return to our base because we're a little bit far away. So, we'll use our Staff of Traveling and we'll go directly to our ME system. And what we need is some iron. Let's just grab maybe three stacks. And then, where there's the magical recharge point. We'll let our staff recharge, and now we can poof back to the castle, just like that. That makes things, so the staff, I'll tell you, makes things so much easier when you're trying to do something like this. We're going to make a whole bunch of iron bars, and we're going to find a nice texture for them. I think this thick iron grid might be the best way for what I'm looking for. Hmm, then again, it might not be. Let's do away with that. Let's see what other options we have. I would like something that's vertical. Thin iron. No, that's still a grid. Hmm. Menacing iron spikes. Ooh. That might do the trick. That looks kind of rugged and worn down. Yeah, I think that'll do. I think that'll work out pretty well. Let's go with that. Okay. There we go. We'll do that. A little bit of that. 
and we're just gonna put these in all of the windows. And as you can see, the castle is really kind of starting to come together. It will really come together once we start mixing in some wood and getting a little bit of color in here. That's when it's really gonna start to look like a thing. But for the moment, this is what we've got. And I think that is gonna do it for this episode, guys. So, if you enjoyed this video, don't forget to like, subscribe, and leave me a comment. I do appreciate it, and it really helps out my channel. You can also find me on Facebook, Twitter, and Twitch. There are links in the video description below, so check that out as well. Otherwise, guys, thanks for watching, and I'll definitely see you next time.